What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with God Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, I received a channel message in, and so I'm going to go and do the reading. Energy is popping tonight. Just saying, just saying, saying. Um, don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If, if it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. I'm going to take the messages that resonate. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, a young Leo tarot card reader is about to really, really, really uh, experience some very heavy tower moments. And then I heard um, charges about to be brought for fraud and they're about to lose everything. A Scorpio is heavy, heavily involved in this Leo tarot card reader's life but they are about to exit out in a huge way so you plug it in however it resonates um however that resonates pregnant pregnant is what i just heard pregnant oh my god and look we got on the bottom of the deck wake up call i just heard pregnant and we got wake up call at the bottom of the deck so um and I have, for anybody who doesn't know, been watching my readings, um, I have been pulling in a pregnant Leo tarot card reader for like a day. I feel like it's been a month. It might not have been. It's been at least a couple weeks, two, three weeks, possibly a month, but it feels like it's been forever. I, I don't know why in the world I'm pulling in this pregnant Leo tarot card reader, but I am. And I, I just heard, but... I, Tonight, just now, I just heard young tarot, or not just now, it was before I clicked the camera on, but a young tar Leo tarot card reader, pregnant. So whoever this tarot card reader is, they are young and they are pregnant and they're dealing with the Scorpio. And I think it's that same Scorpio masculine I've been pulling in that has impregnated this Leo tarot card reader. Now, young in the tarot is technically 18 to 25, but... 25 to 35 is the gray area. So I technically say 35 or below, but it, you know, I'm thinking it's anywhere from 35 or younger. Um, this young Leo tarot card reader, just saying, just saying, because 25, 35 is the gray area. So I just say 35 below for young dinged in the tarot. See, I don't fit into the young category in the tarot because i'm 38 so but whoever this young leo tarot card reader is i feel they are 35 or below for sure for sure maybe 18 to 25 area possibly but i did hear young so definitely 35 or below but i um they're pregnant so and i think a scorpio masculine impregnated this leo tarot card reader but i heard the scorpio masculines i think they're about to get a huge wake-up call i heard they're about to basically energy shift away from this young leo tarot pregnant tarot card reader um do you plug it in how it resonates um this is cray 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 um i heard they're about to get charges brought upon them for fraud they're about to lose it all but the thing is, is they shouldn't have frauded person, people, place, family, situation, organization. They shouldn't have done what they did. Um, I mean, everybody has the choices in life to make. Everybody has choices in life to make. Are you going to make the smart decision or the criminal decision? And whoever this young, pregnant, Leo tarot card reader is, they're making or they made very, very, very terrible decisions regarding fraud, apparently. I wonder if it's the uh, um, um, New York. New York is what I just heard. New York. New York. Okay, so New York is significant to this young, pregnant Leo tarot card reader um, that's about to get um, charged with fraud. I was going to say, I wonder if it's the, um, the, uh, if it's regarding Secret Seven situation, the frauder single mom leo frauder um from new york i didn't hear that it was but it makes me wonder if it is is what i'm saying because there is a we have secret seven texas situation that's going 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 i mean going i mean it's already they're even charged and locked and being locked up and well i mean they, they've already bloomed down there but then we had a a leo 
femme in New York that was claiming to be single mom Leo, the original single mom Leo of the Secret Seven. But the original single mom Leo of the Secret Seven, she resides in Alabama. So, but, so I wonder if it's her is what I'm trying to say. Um, but somehow she is sexually connected to a Scorpio masculine, but I heard basically he's about to basically just wake up, call it and freaking hightail it out. Maybe she's having a wake up call because I feel she either watches my readings. I think she watches my readings because I pull her in or I just channel it in from the spiritual realm so people can know how that resonates. But there is a reason I'm pulling this chickadoo in. I mean, my goodness almighty. Um, just saying, just saying. And I pull, I've been pulling her in so strong recently. But I just heard New York. So it, it could be that frauder. Um, one claiming she was the original Secret Seven person from New York, or it could be a different young tarot card reader from New York. However, in the world that resonates, but however it resonates, I heard she's about to be charged with fraud soon. Spirit messages you have for the collective. You can plug it in how it resonates. This is cray cray, man. I heard she's about to lose it all, but she shouldn't have frauded. Person, people, place, family, situation, or if it is pertaining to Secret Seven, she shouldn't have claimed she was the original um, single mom Leo because she wasn't. She wasn't. The original single mom Leo is, resides in Alabama. Movement. We got movement. So we have wake up call on the bottom of the deck. We got movement upright. Oh my God. And look, look what's on the bottom of the deck. Breach. So leak of information, leak that is out, leak that they know that whether she is the one that's from claiming she was original secret single mom Leo or the secret seven or not, breach that she's a fraud, breach that she's a fraud, basically. A Libra is having a huge, 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 huge wake up call, huge. A very, very, very angry, low vibrational Libra is about to send a very angry communication to a Scorpio masculine soon. And a high vibrational Libra is having a huge, huge wake up call as well. Very positive, huge wake up call. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. Okay, so we have... <clears throat> Two, at least two Libra energies in this reading, particular reading I'm drawing in. We have a low, vibra low vibrational Libra and we have a high, vib high vibrational Libra. Um, the low vibrational Libra is apparently connected to a Scorpio masculine. I wonder if it's a Scorpio masculine that impregnated this young Leo tarot card reader that I think is connected to New York in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel they might reside in New York or they have connections to someone in New York or something of that nature. But I heard New York. So they, I feel they either reside in New York or they are from New York or they are connected to somebody in New York. But New York is significant to the younger pregnant Leo tarot carrier um, that the Scorpio masculine has, I feel the Scorpio masculine is impregnated. But there's two Libra energies I'm pulling in here, a high vibrational one and a low vibrational one. The low vibrational one is connected to the Scorpio masculine. I think the one that is impregnated, the young Leo tarot card reader, because I heard the low vibrational Libra is about to send a very angry communication to the Scorpio masculine. I think the one that, I think it's the one that impregnated the Leo tarot card reader. Um, cause there's a reason I'm pulling all these people in this reading is what I'm saying. So that's my deductive reasoning and logic on that. And then a high vibrational Libra that's getting a huge positive wake up call. So you plug that in, how that resonates, um, two different Libra and energies. Cause you know, vibrations is all about how you treat people. So it's two people on two completely different vibrations and frequencies. Um, these two Libras, um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap, a moly, man. Um, I I don't know why the low vibrational Libra feels the need to communicate uh, while, while they're angry. Um, I don't, 
maybe they're in some kind of Ponzi scheme with this um with this Scorpio and this um this uh uh pregnant tarot card reader that has connections in New York in some shape, form, or fashion. A young Leo, pregnant Leo tarot card reader. You plug in and how it resonates. Okay, so we have movement upright, shape shifting, reverse unfoldment upright. A Sagittarius is about to help expose this young, pregnant Leo tarot card reader in many ways. High vibrational Sagittarius. For some, it is a fellow reader. For some, it is not. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have, we're putting a lot of people in here. Okay, so high vibrational Sag energy in here. For, you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? If you, if you just, you might know one of these people or be connected to one of these people. You might be one of these people or be connected to one of these people or not. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do fit and resonate. I just want to make that clear, abundantly clear. But we're pulling in high vibrational, ow, Sag energy in here. Um, high vibrational. So honesty, truth, clarity, respect, morals, values. Um, for some of these um, Sag energies, I heard they are fellow tarot card readers. So they are tarot card readers or um, prophets or spiritualists or what have you. Um, they work in the spiritual realm, but they are high vibrational. So they're not, you know, like a couple of weeks ago, I pulled in a fake spiritualist, uh, basically a voodoo, a 40 and above air sign, fake voodoo spiritualist on here. Um, not that kind of energy. Those kind of people, they're black magic voodoo practitioners, basically. Um, and they come across as one thing and they're not. Um, not that kind of energy, high vibrational Sag energy. So true high vibrational Sag, um, true high, vib high vibrational energy, honesty, truth, clarity, morals, respect, values, integrity is what I'm trying to say. So, um, I heard a fellow reader. So I think they, they are a spiritualist, a true high vibrational spiritualist, not a fake voodoo witchcraft phony basically. And, um, I think they do readings publicly on a public platform. It could be YouTube or it could be another platform, but they do their readings and their um, work publicly, I feel, but they're high vibrational. But I heard they are about to help expose this um, young, pregnant, tarot card, Leo tarot card reader um, that has connections in New York in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel it could go Secret 7 situation, possibly. I didn't hear that in here, but I feel it could. All right, so movement upright. One of these particular high vibrational Sag energies is about to make a very significant report online. And one is about to communicate with law enforcement in the original secret single mom Leo secret seven community. It's going to be very beneficial. Wow. So you played it in. Man, Secret 7 has been coming in so strong the last few days, you guys. Oh, my God. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. So at least two high vibrational side energies in the universe. That's about to help. Uh, expose this fraud, young Leo tarot card reader with connections in New York in some shape, form, or fashion. But... Basically, um, one of them I heard is going to make a significant report online. Um, so I have been pull, I have been pulling in Federal Trade Commission report energy, very heavy and strong in the in my readings in the energetic spaces recently. So it could be a Federal Trade Commission report for fraud for fraud. I mean, because they do a lot of things: fraud, identity theft, um, money laundering. Um, um they do a lot of different things i was reading up on them after i got the channeling so it's like fraud identity theft money laundering and other serious criminal activities they investigate so it could be the federal trade commission i didn't hear that in here or not some kind of significant report though they're about to file online and federal trade commission report you can file online 
So it could be that or it could be something else. Um, and that's one high vibrational Sag energy. And another one, they are about to, I heard, communicate with law enforcement in the original um, single mom Leo's community to help, to help her. So you plug it in how that resonates. So to me, that could be movement, movement of um, the movement in the collective. That's movement in the collective. That's the, for example, it's like the Scorpio masculine about to move away from this fraudulent pregnant Leo tarot card reader that has connections in New York. That's movement away. Movement of people, uh, this high vibrational Sag about to make a very significant report online, whether it's a Federal Trade Commission report or not. Movement of the, um, the other high vibrational Sag um, about to communicate with law enforcement in the... Um, original sing, uh, single mom of the secret sevens community which is in alabama or movement of the low vibrational libra um sending angry communication to the, Scorp the scorpio masculine i feel it is scorpio masculine that has impregnated this pregnant young leo tarot card reader you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates um however that resonates my goodness And a high vibrational Libra is about to make lots and lots and lots of phone calls. Lots of phone calls. And one particular high vibrational Libra is about to make a significant report themselves. Oh my God. Wow. A lot of reporting energy in here. Oh my God. Okay, so there's at least two or more high vibrational Libras I'm pulling in here. So you could be the high vibrational Libra or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Honesty, truth, clarity, respect, morals, values, integrity. Whoever this high vibrational Libra Libras are, there's at least two. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Um, you can have Libra in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, behavior, Jupiter charts if that resonates with you. But at least one of you guys I heard is about to make a significant report yourself. It could be a Federal Trade Commission report or, or some other kind of report. Um, like I said, the Federal Trade Commission report you can do online because I researched it after I got all these channelings in. But if it's not that kind of report, it's some other kind of report. And another one is about to make many, many phone calls soon. So that could be the movement in the collective too, the many phone calls or the significant report. Um, a lot of reporting energy. Shape shifting reversed. Someone is having a huge wake-up call of stagnancy of the past. They are seeing it very clear as day now. Okay, I heard someone is having um, a huge wake-up call of stagnancy of the past. Um, they're seeing it clear as day now. So, shape-shifting reverse. Now, shape-shifting is basically... Um, well, in this situation, it's not being able to move forward um, in some situation. Um, whoever this is, they wasn't able to move forward in the past. I, I heard Secret 7 in here. Um, so I'm thinking it's regarding the Secret 7 situation. Somebody is seeing that um, I think the original single mom, uh, Leo of um, Alabama, um, they were. I think they're seeing now how she wasn't able to move forward in the past is what I'm thinking. Um, either you or somebody you're connected to. That's because our wake-up call energy, huge wake-up call energy, seeing now how there was such stagnancy in the past. Well, if we're talking about single mom Leo, original one of Alabama, um, she wasn't able to move forward because she was kept getting blocked. She kept getting blocked in her community because her crazy-ass family and others were placing black magic on her ass, and they were talking such crap about her in the community, and it was blocking her. Um, they were seriously, like, physically performing black magic on her. Like, dead animal bones up on her driveway. She was having these crazy cobwebs and um, growing up on her property, on her bushes out in the front. She was having um, rat's nest formed in her um, air filters in her um, vehicle and mice being born out in her yard. I mean... 
she was having hexes and curses and stuff placed on her physical. I mean, and there was, she saw it out with her own eyes in her yard. Um, and it, and it was affecting, you know, her vehicle. She was afraid her vehicle was going to break down because having craziness, like animals underneath her hood and stuff. But, um, but it wasn't only that she was getting blocked out in the community too. People were talking such smack about her and such gossip about her. And they were trying to make her reputation tank into the ground to try to block her that way too. And she got fired three times in a year, but she never, and they were all three wrongful terminations. So she never got any, um, she kept getting fired. So she couldn't go to a lawyer and file a wrongful termination suit because she didn't have the money to, um, to, um, you know, garner up the money for a lawyer to file a wrongful termination suit. So she just kept moving forward um, and, and applying to other places and other jobs so she could gain money up. So she couldn't, you know, stop and file a wrongful termination suit because she didn't want to lose her home. She didn't want to lose her kids. She didn't want to lose her life. She, you know, um, but the people that were performing black magics and black magic and hexes and curses on her at that time knew that. They knew that. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But whoever this is for, I think this basically is um, a wake up call about single, the original single mom Leo in Alabama is what I'm thinking. Um, in this aspect, shape shifting reverse is basically her a wake up call about her not being able to shape shift herself when all that crap was going on originally because she couldn't. Because she couldn't, because she kept getting blocked because of black magic and voodoo and hexes and curses and manipulation and gossip and drama and maliciousness and spitefulness of other people. Wrongful termination energy. I mean, you know, when somebody says you're fired, um, yeah, you could go up and fight it or you can say okay and walk out and go apply to another place because you don't want to be treated with disrespect and disdain and who wants to stay at a place and fight that in that company in place when obviously they had enough galls gall and balls to say you're fired who wa who wants to stay there who wants to stay there in a place like that i wouldn't i'm just saying uh, most people wouldn't they want to stay at a place that where they're respected where they're valued and their skills and knowledge is valued and respected. I mean, so, you know, everybody has that choice to make, but I'm just saying. Unfoldment upright. Many, 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 many series of chain events are about to occur. Major series of chain events are about to occur. with many people in the collective. Some regarding Secret 7 situation, some not. Okay, I heard basically a ton of mini series of chain events are about to occur in the collective. Um, some regarding Secret 7 situation, some not. So we have unfoldment, unfoldment of events basically in this situation. Some regarding Secret 7 situation, some not. So. That could be the movement and unfoldment as well. We're pulling in a lot of people in here. We're pulling in Secret 7. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. We have at least two high vibrational Libra energies we're pulling in here. We have one, at least one, one low vibrational Libra energy we're pulling in. We have um, at least two high vibrational Sag energies we're pulling in here. We have a Scorpio masculine that is possibly impregnated a young Leo tarot card reader that has connections in New York in some shape, form, or fashion, and the young pregnant Leo tarot card reader that has connections in New York in some shape, form, or fashion. So you and single mom Leo, original single mom Leo of um, Alabama. So you plug it in, however that resonates. A lot of freaking people, a lot. Um, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular fire sign police officer is having a huge wake up call. Huge. 
This fire sign police officer is probably going to create series of chain of events their own self soon regarding Secret 7 situation. Oh, okay. My God. Okay. And we have a fire sign police officer in here. So you plug it in how it resonates, fire sign police officer, if this resonates with you. So we have a fire sign police officer I'm pulling in here too. Aries Leo Sag police officer. Um, if this is you or somebody you're connected to, they can have um, fire sign police officer. If this is you, you could have Aries Leo or Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no mid-haven or Jupiter charts. If this resonates with you, fire sign police officer. But I heard basically um, you're getting a huge, a huge positive wake up call. Okay. I heard you're getting a huge positive wake up call. So maybe about the secret seven situation or something else, but, or it could be maybe communication that's going to come to you. Cause there's a lot of movement about to occur. Some secret seven situation related, some not, but you are connected in this in some shape, form or fashion, whoever you are, fire sign police officer. But I heard you're getting a huge positive wake up call and you're I heard you're probably going to create a series of chain of events on your own soon regarding the secret seven situation. So you are going to create a series of chain of events your own self. Um, you're going to have movement. You're going to create movement to create the unfoldment of events your own self regarding the secret seven situation soon. Um, it could be with this fraudulent young pregnant Leo tarot card reader that has connections in New York or it could be with single original single mom Leo of the secret seven um, from Alabama you plug it in however that resonates if that resonates for you This young pregnant Leo tarot card reader, many, 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 many people have been lusting after her. However, they are about to energy shift away from her. They know it's about to really go badly for her. Oh my God, I am pulling her in so strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. She must do some kind of public platform or some shape, form, fashion, I'll tell you that. And she has a lot of clientele, um, I can tell you that, whoever this is. Um, but I'm pulling her in so strong. So I heard many, basically a ton of many people are lusting after her. So lust is different than love for anybody who doesn't know. Lust is completely different than love. Lust is basically you want to have sex with them, basically. Lust is you just want to get in their pants. You just want to get in their pants. You just want to say you bang them or you just want to have sex with them because you find them very, very attractive. Like a, a one time wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, sex thing, basically. But I heard many people are basically lusting after this young Leo tarot card reader that has connections in New York in some shape, form or fashion. Uh, many people are, not just one person, a ton of many people are. A ton of many people are lusting after her. But basically I heard these people are about to get huge wake up calls and a lot of these people that are lusting after her so badly that basically they want to bang her. They want to bang her basically. Um, and maybe that's why they watch her. Um, they're about to energy shift away from her. So um, I think they might not watch her anymore. Um, and they um, might go find some other tarot card reader that maybe actually pulls in their, um, their energy um, possibly, or another reader that resonates better with them. And they're not thinking about banging them every waking moment, possibly. I don't know. You plug it in how it resonates. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody made wonderful choices. I hope this helped. If you think anyone else could benefit from these messages, uh, wouldn't mind sharing these videos on your social media. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.